So what is going on guys, it's Triple G here, back with another Diablo video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you the most efficient way to level up a second character when you are playing solo. So if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Or join me over on Twitch, I stream five times a week. And otherwise, let's get straight into this video. So obviously, there are some methods where you can get another person, a friend to come and boost you all the way up to level 50 quickly. But if you do play solo, it is a little bit more tricky to get alternate characters up to that magic number of 50 so you can start grinding your paragon and start running your nightmare dungeons so the best thing that you can do here is make sure that you've completed the story at least on the first character this will mean that you will unlock certain things that are critical for doing this farm so once you have started your new character you will notice on the map that the tree of whispers activity is the unlocked whether you skip the story or you don't skip the story so it doesn't matter and then what you'll be able to do is work on your grim favors now if you don't have the story then the only thing you're going to be doing is activities side missions and dungeons so what you're going to want to be looking out for is these dungeons here the most efficient thing that you can do is run two of these dungeons back to back to get your whispering tree cash now if you do a dungeon that has not already been unlocked like this one on the screen here this will mean that you will unlock your aspects really quickly as well meaning that you can go to the cultists and apply aspects to your build really early on in the early teens before you're supposed to be able to unlock that at level 25. This will mean that you're more powerful than you should be at that level. In addition to that, if you've gone around and done the renowned stuff on your first character, you will also have additional skill points for you to put in your build, meaning that you'll be able to powerhouse through these dungeons. So in summary, the farm is really, really simple. Two of these dungeons turn in the whispering tree the whispering tree will give you rewards which will help you with your build will give you ingredients which will make sure that you can put those elixirs on that will give you that five percent extra xp when killing mobs and it will also unlock certain dungeons and aspects that you might not have already done on your first character guys that's it for today's video if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join me over on twitch as i stream six times a week and otherwise i'll catch you on the flip